All right, so once upon a time, there was a space captain, and she was the only female space captain, and her name was Zanaria. Xanaria, that works. <laughs> so, this random chick became a captain of a boat, and her and her crew were the winners of their planet's weird, like, Olympic type of thing. So... They uh they kind of like fought each other, like the best the best team won, and yeah yeah so they won that so they became a squadron leader, of of people of of a team. It's like five ships, so five ships under their command. So four actually because five including them, so. They get this really, really nice boat. And the boat is called the U... E, not the U, actually. That's stupid. Um, the boat's called... Uh, the... The... Boat Jekyll. That's what it is. Boat Jekyll. I'm not going to remember that. So we're just gonna call it boat. Um, anyway, so they get this fancy boat, and it's a really, really good boat. It is the top boat that's been made by this civilization on a random ass planet. All right, so saying that, they go out on the first mission, and their mission is. To hunt and to kill a rare and in endangered species. The reason why they're hunted so much is because they have a rare gem in that, that they use as a defense mechanism. They can like shoot lasers and stuff out. They use that to make weapons. But the problem is that these animals are going extinct now. So they're... There's this, they, their planet has deemed it illegal for them to be hunted. But, you know, since they're pirates, they don't really care. So, they, they, they hunted them anyway, and they, they also had to hunt other animals and get certain artifacts, such as the gem from the cosmic frog. And you can see in the picture, that that's the cosmic frog, and, yeah, so after all of this happens, the, the, the girl captain, Satana, Satana, Zatanna, Zatan, whatever, um, uh, starts with a Z, but she goes back to the, uh, the council of pirates, I guess, and they, they, they looked at her and they were like, you failed. She was like, what are you talking about? I didn't fail. I got you your precious gems. Then they were like, but you also lost all four of the other battleships. And she was like, what? Who, me? Nah. And then, and then they banished her from pirating. And her and her two companions, one which is the heavy of the group, he carries a big laser rifle. Then the other one carries two pistols and twin short swords. So, I, I don't really want to come up with names for them though, so deal with it. Anyway... So they're banished from their civilization, 
and they they have to find a different planet to inhabit. So, they 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 kind of just float around space for a while, on their really really special boat that they stole from the government, and they come across this planet, and on this planet, it was all desert. There's hardly any water, no oceans at all. So when they get to this planet, it was the nearest planet, and they had to let their ship kind of rest because the fan was overheating and stuff. And in hindsight, they should have thought because a desert is kind of a terrible place for you to cool off your ship, you know, because it's hot as shit. So anyway, they went to this desert, and they are just kind of walking around trying to find some food to eat. And they run across this this mountain, and it was the only mountain in miles. And they were like, there's probably going to be vegetation at the top of this mountain. So using their jetpacks, which they have, they flew as high as they could, and then they climbed the rest. And only two of them went, though. Only the... Uh, the captain and the, let's call the guy with short swords, Rick. Yeah, that's a good name. Yeah, Rick. So, Rick and the captain Zatanna, or Zatina, goes to the top of the mountain. And at the top of the mountain, there's this weird civilization of cultists. And they're these little, little golem-looking things made out of stone. But... Their heads on top of it branched off a gem. So, like, in their forehand, <clears throat> not forehand, forehead, there was a gem that, like, kind of protruded out. And they, whenever they would go to their idols, they would, uh, they, the gems in their forehead would glow. And they, the when the pirates got to the civilization, the the people at the top were like, Oh! Welcome! How are you? And then the pirates being pirates, they kind of just murdered half of them. Because they saw the gems and they were like, Hey, we can probably sell those. So, yeah, they, they killed like half of the civilization just to get some lousy gems. So sad, right? Anyway, um, they get down back from the mountain, and as they are boarding their ship to get out of there, to go to another planet, the the gem people, the little golem people that they had, that they had killed, their god showed up, a giant caterpillar, and he ate the ship whole. And now those people are living in its stomach. Thank you for listening to Storytime. As always, this is Sam. And hit that subscribe button. See you on the next episode of Art is Intercourse.